When I came out here on the west side, <laughs> most of this was cornfields, uh, subdiv small subdivisions. There wasn't near the population explosion as there is now. It's changed quite a bit in 30 years. Got subdivisions. Uh, Hey, we even got fast food restaurants now. When I first came out there, there was two places to eat, and one of those was in Hendricks County, the next county over. But uh, it's just, it's grown, it's amazing. We're on our way to a mother and daughter domestic. Uh, we just got a recall back from the mother. They think the daughter's possibly on drugs or alcohol. They said she's kind of incoherent, her speech is slurred. We're pretty close to it. We'll uh, find out when we get in there. Hi guys. Okay, I think this is it. Uh-oh. Beware of the dog. Hi guys. I'm gonna go get this step on No, you're not gonna do anything right now. I'll get the ambulance check you out, okay? That way I can tell what whether you are or aren't. So you need to get yourself, if you're not on anything, get yourself under control, okay? And then I'll have... What stuff? My clothes. You don't need your clothes. Where are you going? Why do you need clothes? My clothes and my deodorant, my toothbrush, I want it all. You're going to the hospital. You won't need that up there. I don't want Nowhere. Okay, sit down. sit down right here. I want to get my stuff. You don't need your stuff. Calm down. Calm down. She, uh, Mom, have you seen have, anything today as far as... I took my other son and his daughter. Did you get hit in the eye? Yeah. Okay. All right. She got any kind of record? No. Okay, just when did all this start? Um, I've been home about 30 minutes. No, but she's been doing it in the past. Uh, I, I left at 11 o'clock today to take the kids swimming. When I come home, she's staggering all over the place, slurring, can't hardly talk, can't walk. Went to dial the phone, couldn't even push the buttons. I mean, totally was missing. I was still pushing the buttons. Hey, 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 hey. I knew what I was doing. This, this ain't her. This yeah, is I know. not her at all. <laughs> totally opposite kid. Okay. You pissed me off. I'm moving. Danny just said I can move with him. I don't think so. Danny just said I can move with him. Who's Danny? Dad just said I can move brother. with him. I don't want nobody around here. Right. I get my and go. No, you're going to straighten your ass up is what you're going to do. I'm not staying here. Well, we'll see. You'll either be here in juvenile until you're 18 years old. One no, of I won't. Places. Her no, I won't. I was just, Ellie got me here. We've been doing fun stuff. Who is? Ellie got me here. We've been doing fun stuff. I want to move with my dad. Oh, yeah, I don't blame you. At your age, I'd want to live there, too. That ain't going on here. I ain't doing nothing wrong. Oh, yeah, I can tell you ain't done nothing wrong. Here. There's no alcohol in the house or anything like that? No. Do we know where she's been today? No. I want to go get my stuff. We'll deal with that in a minute, okay? You're going to wait until the ambulance gets here, check you out, and then I'll be able to go from there on what you want. You hurt my arm! I swear I hate you! Good. Because I love you. That's the way that goes. But she's never done anything like this before, except smoke a little pot, according to her. Have you smoked any today? How long ago? I don't know. It's more than that. Does it, that. does it always make you act like this? No. You been drinking? Nothing alcoholic, right? I want to get my stuff, but I want to leave. You're not leaving. I stay there and I'm going to my dad. That's right. Thanks. Completely turned over the room in the back and all the way back up through here. Everything's just flipped over. And well, I believe that. Ain't no doubt in my mind about that. Another case of where medication, you know, that didn't belong to her, she got into mom's medication and it just whacked her out. Okay, well, 
we'll get her get you out of here mom we'll get you down to the hospital you need to start locking you know you're gonna have to start locking your stuff up oh yeah okay I, I'm but i'll tell you what she's not gonna have a good time when they pump her stomach uh, she's not gonna like that charcoal mix okay where did you get the xanax you found them with your moms? Did you find them from her uh, in the medicine in her room? Okay, why did, why did you take them? Because I wanted to see what they were like. Okay, see what they do to you? Not a real good thing, is it? No. Why didn't you come just come out with it to begin with? Are you scared you're going to get in trouble? or? No, I want to know what you're saying. Okay. So, if you need to. So, we don't know how many. In other words, Cindy, we don't know how many, right? What's the white ones? These are my pain pills. I was in all. Okay, have you taken any of the white ones? Danielle, the white ones, the big white ones. Any white ones. Have you taken any white ones? You just took the blue ones? Which? There's a little beige ones. Little what? They're blue. She's taken three to four Xanax, according to her, and there was also some pain medication in the bottle. Mom and them come home. Uh, they went swimming, came home. And she came in like this. A big fight got started. She's wrecked about everything in the house. Brother, uh, I'm for his ass. Step up here. The fight comes to the hospital. Everybody reacts differently to medication, and in this case, a prescribed pain medication just made this girl just plumb, you know, about out of her head. It's just a good classic example of kids getting into narcotics.